Welcome back, everyone, to Poppin' Often with Lofton. Today, 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 I'm gonna be going over the responses you guys left on the video before. If you guys don't know what video it was, boom, the thumbnail should be right there. It was a video discussing nerfs to characters coming out, AP characters and AMP characters. If you haven't taken a look at it, take a look at it. For those of you that enjoy my content, and you want to see more, of course, feel free to subscribe. That way you are notified the next time my videos come out. And for those of you who want to help support me on Patreon, remember, once we reach our goal, regular scheduled streams daily. I'm just saying. All right, so the first comment that we got is from TJ Antonio. I was not around for AMP characters, but I heard a lot of them being complained about how too powerful and cheesy they were in PvP. So I think they should have a slight nerf if in that aspect and not for dungeons as such as myself. Or for dungeoners as such as myself. I do agree with that. Um, I definitely think that that's where their nerfs should be. And I've noticed that that's where their nerfs are targeting. Like I haven't been seeing any nerfs for any characters that are targeting anything else other than PVP as said in that video. So, you know, I definitely think that's what's coming. I don't see any dungeon moves being nerfed. There's just no reason to. Nobody cares about how strong a character is in PVE. People only care about how strong characters are in PVP. So. You know, I've never ran into a dungeon and people are like, oh, my teammate's too strong. Even when it comes to people hacking, right? People that are playing with the hackers, they don't care that they're hacking. They just want to clear the dungeon. It's the same thing if they're doing a lot of damage. So I honestly don't see any nerfs to the characters or to any abilities coming out unless it's specifically something for PVP. And in which case it's got to go. I also noticed that if something is not working well in dungeons, they will buff it so it works well in dungeons. They won't really buff anything so it works better in PvP is what I've noticed, but they will buff something for dungeons. So like if there's an ability that was just so useless and you felt like, why would I even take it? They reworked that ability to work better in dungeons. They did it for every single character. There's an ability that either was taken off or there was ability that got put on that they didn't ever had before because it worked better in dungeons. It was just, it was funner to play. I think that's what their main goal is, keeping it balanced for PvP, but also making sure that the, the, the character and the skill trees are fun to play. The next comment is from Yao. Instead of nerfing characters, why not just strengthen the enemies by increasing their defense? That'll be pretty balanced in my opinion. Um, because they're not nerfing characters for PvE, they're, they're nerfing characters for PvP. So, I mean, in theory, that's a simple fix, but when thinking about games and game development and buffs and nerfs, everyone seems to have the simple fix from their own opinion, but it never really works that way. If they buffed the defense and um, kept the characters the exact same, how would that translate to PVP? And in which case, if they did do that, if the person's not statted, they won't not, they're not gonna have a good time. Just because a character is strong doesn't mean that they're strong under static, right? There's some moves that is, but what if the move then comes at level 70 or something like that? And the character just sucks until 70? Like, that, it's just not as simple as like that. Um, especially, like I said, because they're nerfing for PvP anyway, not hardly any nerfs are for PvE. It's a good idea, but it's just not realistic, unfortunately. But um, yeah, I mean, I like the way the dungeons are now. The way that the dungeons were before, your character either sucked or your character was overpowered and killed everything in one shot. Um, or like I said before, you know, the character was just terrible until you got a certain ability and then it became ridiculous. Like there was there was just really bad power spikes. There was really nothing like it was like, I'm gradually getting stronger. It's like, boom, power spike. Or it's like, boom, under power spike. And you know, you're just not strong. So I think the way that they're doing it now is good. I don't think they'll be able to fix some characters because some characters just aren't that great in dungeons. And it is what it is. I think the only one, honestly, the last and maybe Elysis. But the rest of the cast that we have are pretty fun and and pretty chill when it comes to playing in the dungeons i mean it's a good idea like i said but it's just not really realistic especially because they're not even nerfing for the, the dungeons anyway they just made dungeons better scaling that's all next one is from pokemon hey are you a pvp player i saw you doing dashes in the rama video You're talking about flash stepping and shadow stepping yes i do like the pvp although i do know people that play dungeons that can step but they just don't play pvp it's really just up to the, what the player wants to learn. The next comment here is from Chan. Do you recommend using Ryan transformations or is it better if he's in his normal form? So for me, I always play for what's fun. I don't really play for what's optimal, but yes, transforming as soon as possible is more optimal, especially if you can transform into the bird. So 
There you go. As long as they don't nerf Dio's onrush, I'm good. I mean, true, right? A lot of Dio players would be very, very, very upset if they nerf that. And I think KOG knows that. Um, I, I highly doubt they're gonna just sit there and nerf something for no reason. They're gonna have a reason to nerf it. And like I said, that's not even me using PVP. So if they just randomly was like, hey, we're gonna nerf this for no reason at all, it just makes no sense. Um, especially because I think like the pets are nerfed this time around. So you're not getting a, a MP as fast as, as you would. Like it's already basically indirectly nerfed. I don't see it um, being hit with a nerf hammer. It, it would suck, don't get me wrong. But if they did do that, I'm pretty sure they would change it back when they realize people are like, hey, we don't like this because they, they do listen. They might not always listen, but throughout the months that this game has been released, you definitely can tell that they were listening and they have changed some things for better. Um, whether or not we want to realize it, they have. So I would definitely see them tuning that back if if they did happen to hit it with a nerf hammer for some reason or another. So that is it. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want your comments to be featured in my videos, remember, make sure you comment on the discussion video. I let the video sit for a day and then I make a video responding to the comments the day after. So if you guys are ever interested, just pay attention to what videos are in the discussion. They'll be in the discussion playlist. And also, um, I'll say it's a discussion. I will be making another video, but it's not really a discussion video. Maybe it is, maybe I should turn it into one. I was gonna make a video about responding to the comments of the Steam users of Grand Chase like I did before. I thought it was pretty fun, I'm gonna try to do it again. Um, Maybe, maybe I'll make that a discussion. Uh, maybe I do want to hear your thoughts on the, on, on the matter, and then I'll respond to it. Remember, if you guys want early access to my content, such as the next video coming out, Patreon's where you want to go. And of course, if you guys want to have regular stream, let's reach that goal together. Once we reach that goal, regular streams popping off every single day. So thank you guys for watching. Till next time, you know what I always say? Thank you for what? Popping often. With who? Lofton. Yeah, yeah.